So I have here a balloon in a chamber. Right now, everything's at atmospheric pressure. That is, I haven't tried to suck any air out. I'm not pushing any air in. So the balloon is exactly how it would appear outside of the chamber. Let me show that real quick. So here's the balloon. Now, the balloon exists like this because there's an equal number of collisions going on inside of the balloon as opposed to outside of the balloon. That's what pressure is. Pressure is basically the, the force of the collisions of the air molecules on the object. So if here's our balloon, inside the balloon we have, you know, a bunch of air molecules. And one thing you can say about atoms and molecules, they're always moving. Even if they're in this desk, they're jiggling and in the air, they're, they're free moving all over the place. And, so they're hitting the walls and, and bouncing off. Some of them are just going this way. And if there were no air on the outside, then every time it hit the wall of the balloon, it would be causing it to expand, and the balloon would, would be expanding. But, like I said, we have equal number of air molecules outside, I should say equal pressure, and these guys are hitting the walls as well, and it forms an equilibrium. The equilibrium is the size that you see here. But what I'm going to do now, I'm going to turn on the vacuum chamber and suck the air out. So let's do that. And now, see what's happening? I'm sucking the air out. The balloon's getting bigger because there's less air in here, and therefore there's less collisions on the outside of the balloon. There's more collisions going on inside, because inside the balloon it has the same amount of air. I'm not sucking the air out of the balloon, just out of the chamber around the balloon. So inside the balloon you've got the same number of collisions happening on the walls, but outside, very few collisions because I'm sucking the air out. And therefore, the inside collisions win, and the balloon expands. Wow, it's getting very quite big. And now, of course, if I release the valve, the air comes flying back in, and now we, we get an e equilibrium like we had before with the sort of same number of collisions happening outside the balloon as inside. Okay, you saw the balloon. Now check this out. What I have here is just an ordinary can of soda. I'm going to punch a little hole in the bottom here. Hopefully it won't spray too much. Whoa, okay. Never mind, sprayed a lot. So here we go. This soda's just drizzling out. How can I get more flow? Well, I can open up the top, which then allows all of the air on top of it to come weighing down on it, and thus pushing the soda out. And that's what's called atmospheric pressure. It's the pressure of the atmosphere weighing us down, if you like. Cool. Let me show you another demonstration about the air molecules all around us, the atmospheric pressure. So here's two half spheres. There's nothing attaching them, just two half spheres. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to suck the air out of the middle so that there won't be, whoops, there won't be any air, or very, or much less air in the middle as compared to outside of it. So here's a little hand pump. So I'm pumping the air out of the middle of these two half spheres. So now there's going to be many more air molecules on the outside colliding with the walls on the outside than on the inside colliding with the walls on the inside pushing out. So these guys are winning. And you'll see, I'm going to close the valve now. And let's disconnect this here. You'll see. I can't pull these apart now. And that's because all of these little molecules are they're colliding on the outside, pushing it together. And there's nothing on the inside to balance those collisions. In other words, vacuum in the middle, a lot of pressure on the outside. Brad, come over here. Brad's a star football player. Let's see if the two of us can pull it apart. <laughs> He's pulling me over to him. But now, if we release the valve, 
But in the ergo part, it comes off easy. 